Hello everybody, it's Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Uh, just wanted to take a brief moment to pay homage to all the fathers out there. I'll start with the man who so graciously dedicated his life to rearing me, my great-grandfather, who uh, along with my great-grandmother adopted uh, me at nine months old and reared me uh, and challenged me to be the man that I've become and am still becoming. C.D. Wallace, I want to thank you for taking your daughter's grandson and taking the responsibility of rearing him and challenging him. And today, uh, 30 years plus, 31 years uh, since your, your death, I'm still challenging myself to live up to that standard. So again, I want to say thank you. To all of the men out there who stand up and to the best of your ability, refuse to make excuses, show up, mistakes and all, and love your children and support their mothers, this is big ups to you. Uh, it is easy as black men uh, to become aware of all of the things around us that tend to marginalize our importance and our relevance in our community and even in our homes. Uh, programs that uh, send a message that we're replaceable because we have become solely commodities and if we can't uh, measure up to the commodification, then we have no place in our families and I'm here to tell you that, yes, we are meant to be providers, but we are also protectors. We are also prophets. We are priests. Uh, we are promoters of our children and our wives and our women. We are lovers and coverings. We are so necessary. And what we are going to have to do is we're going to have to come together and stand together and support one another, love on one another, encourage one another, challenge one another, hold one another accountable because at sometimes we all fall short. It's okay to fall short. It's not okay to be okay with it. What we need to do is challenge ourselves. I want to give a big shout out. If you're out there loving on your children, I want to get an even bigger shout out to the men out there raising other men's seeds as their own. Women, my sisters, I've got mad love for you. Many of you have been asked to do things you weren't designed to do, filling in spaces that brothers decided to abandon and abdicate. But please understand that there are good men out there that don't want nothing more than to love and to be respected. Won't, uh, they're naturally built to cover. Don't lose sight of that. Show your appreciation. Show your love. Uh, you are appreciated. And we, we showed you mad love on your day. So show these guys some love. Show up. And if you got somebody you want to shout out to, go to the comment session, section and shout out to them. Uh, because I know so many of us who are putting it all on the line. And even in times where things may not seem to be going the way that we would want them to go for ourselves, we still hold down the fort. We still show up every day, banged up, beat up, and sometimes even broken. So for the men out there that are doing it, for the men that are out there that refuse to offer up excuses and accept when they fall in short and look for ways to uh, overcome it, I love you, brothers. I'm standing with you, and although I don't know all of you, I feel every last one of you. Your walk is my walk. Your hurt is my hurt. Your pain is my pain. But I tell you what, we're not going to quit on our people. We're not going to turn loose the reins of our responsibility to cover. We're not going to lay down and succumb to the suggestion that we don't fit in and we're no longer needed. We're not going to back up and leave our women and our children languishing because it's gotten hard and tough.
We come from stock of resilience. We come from the stock of perseverance. We come from the stock of innovation and creativity. We know how to make it. It's time that we walk in the brilliance of who we are. It's time that we stand up and square our shoulders and say, not on my watch. It's time that we start to love on one another and support one another and stop competing. So to every last brother out there, whether you biologically sired a child or you walked into a woman's life and says, I got you from here. Mad love and support and love. Happy Father's Day. I'm out.